can't have you. I don't want you to have anyone. Right. Hi you guys. Um welcome back to the weekly vlog. So it's Friday night today. I just got off work out of office. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this weekend for so long because this weekend is supposedly like work free and stuff like that. So like I'm only doing things that I want to do this weekend, not things that I have to do. Like I feel like I've been working very hard the past few weeks to make sure that this weekend is as fun and free and relaxing as possible. But, um, also how cute does my wig look girl like it looks so realistic it could be my own hair right right babe mm -hmm. it could be my own hair yeah it could be um which is great because i have not even gotten a chance to bleach the knots all of that customizing things but i wanted to come on camera because guess what my boo got me well first of all he got me new airpods airpod pros for valentine's day which i really appreciated and then when i got home today hold on let me turn this around oh he got me some roses and he asked me to be his valentine is that all you know oh wait there's more so there are two things there right i know the 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 big one yeah, yeah and the one thing is in the spot Oh wait, I thought it was roses too. I thought it was roses in both. I, I just saw the stems and I was just like, oh wow, roses upon roses and I was excited. So guys, he got me this huge bouquet of roses that's just so beautiful. And then this, these that say, will you be my valentine? And I don't know, I have to open it to see what, what flowers, are they flowers? Oh, yeah. I just need to see what flowers they are. Hold on, let me put this down. I didn't see babe. I just was excited to get roses. See, I'm I'm an easy wife. <laughs> I was just excited to get roses. Oh, he got me some um tul oh, he got me tulips, you guys. Purple tulips. Oh, these are beautiful. Look you guys. And they're gonna open. Oh, okay, we need to go come back so I can put all my flowers in water. I have the best valentine and I need to go buy him a vanilla cupcake I did consider going to get donuts but I knew that by the time I got home the donut place would be closed so a cupcake was the next best thing because my husband has a sweet tooth so I went to Magnolia Bakery food ordered food ordered assignment Okay, so now we're gonna go buy my Coke. While we're waiting for the food, I'm gonna shower. Mm. Already showered. Already showered. And then it's the weekend. It's the weekend. It's the so week. Excited. <laughs> so excited. And I managed to get brunch reservations at one of my favorite spots in Harlem. Woo! That was so exciting. And I told I told you, right? Yeah. I was like, oh, since indoor dining is resuming, I'm gonna keep checking their page just in case they announced that they're reopening for indoor dining and they did and I like but the reason why I commented on their page was because on the website they still hadn't activated it no. or it was either that but it kept saying basically there are no reservations so I got put on a wait list oh okay uh-huh so then eventually I got a notification but it was like for 245 hey you guys what is up um good morning no actually good afternoon so it is saturday afternoon today and i literally or we because yom and i both literally spent the day doing nothing we woke up a bit late why is this thing not being straight we woke up a bit late um you won't watch some soccer i was just on my phone then we had breakfast and we were on the phone with like my sister for a good two or three hours which is always a good moment, catching up, whatever. Then, yeah, then I just went to go take a shower and I just finished doing that and I just got dressed. I'll show you guys. I'm literally dressed so casually. I'm wearing this 
sweater and then i'm wearing these bike shorts that i got off amazon they're actually for working out but they're not that great when i work out because they're a bit loose and so like they tend to slide down a bit when i'm in the gym so i just wear them in the house um and look in the background are my tulips that i got from yomi yesterday they are starting to open up which i'm excited about they look so beautiful against the white background and they actually match this candle here that i have there so it's like got this whole pink and purple vibe going on so that's great um, i'll show you guys in a little bit the other arrangement which i was gonna come back on camera last night and show you guys but i was so tired i literally just did these and then the other ones i literally just put them in a vase of water as they were like i just did not have time to make them look cute and stuff like that um but yeah guys so literally today i am not doing anything like i am literally just chilling relaxing watching tv eating like it's my day off i've given myself a day off from everything from youtube from instagram from my blog from thursday edition from my nine to five like i'm t I, I need a minute so kind of just hanging out i was gonna go on all i was on pinterest earlier and i was kind of just looking at um home inspirations because you know one of our short-term goals is to buy a home and i've kind of just been looking at homes and what i want and gathering all of that because listen guys the bible says you must write the vision down make it plain make it clear um so just you know in addition to all the stuff that we're doing to get ourselves together to be able to buy a home we are also obviously manifesting and praying and everything so i was just doing that and obviously it's fun for me dreaming it all up um but yeah i just took a break from that um i really want to show you guys those other flowers but they're like they and i'm here and i'm lazy um actually no i'm gonna get up because i need to show you guys something so these are the fl don't mind my kitchen guys so this is the other bouquet i just put it in this jar of water that's my emergency whistle guys i don't play about my safety i just put this in put them in a jar of water and i'm kind of digging the whole greenery vibe as opposed to just having the roses in here so i think i'll just keep it like this i won't i won't fix it or anything um but the reason why i got up and why what i actually want to show you guys if you follow me on instagram you'll probably have seen this already but i wanted to show you guys my new boots okay i got th this pair of boots on thursday I had seen them on Instagram. A girl I follow, her name on Instagram is Guilty of, Gli of Glitz, I think. She had posted them that there was this pair of boots on clearance in Target and they were $11.99. When I first saw it, I was like, ah, you know, I'll never find them in store. You know, New York, things sell out fast here. So I was like, whatever. And then she started reposting people who, in other parts of the country, who had gone and found the boots still in Target. Then I was like, man, let me give it a try. So I went online and some of the Targets in New York actually had them in store, in store, in store. Yes, in store. You could actually buy them online, but my size wasn't available for shipping for some or other reason, which was fine. I decided to look up the store closest to me that had it. And it was in Flatbush, which is a part of Brooklyn, which is in Brooklyn. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna do it. Um, the train there, it was, the train to there wasn't like a hassle for me to get to because it was at the same train station that I'll go that I was gonna go home from. So I decided to get onto the train there, and it was far, guys. It was like I was literally on the train for an hour, maybe fifty minutes to an hour. Got off. Luckily, the target there was two minutes from the train station got to the target um went there looked hey this was a big target it was a really nice target it was a really nice target they had really good stuff there um looked around 
and um, finally found the boots, found them in my size, went to the till, cashier rang, rang, rang them up. They were eleven ninety nine, you guys. Eleven ninety nine. I was like, what a deal, guys. Grabbed my boots, went back home. And my ride back home was so sketchy because this place that I went to was so far, like it was the last like stop on the train so obviously there weren't too many people traveling from there back into manhattan or whatever hmm. guys it was a mess i was so scared the entire time because i was just like if someone comes onto this into this train car and decides to assault me or rob me it's gonna happen because i was literally the only person in that train car for a long time some sketchy looking guy came on and then after like one or two stops I was like uh uh I'm getting off I got off and I switched cars went to another car that had more people in and then I was yeah so I was in that car till I got home but it was a long long tra train ride like it was the most but I, I did the most um then yeah not then but um if I tell you I left my office at 5 30 I got home around 8 30 that's how long it took me to go to get these boots and come back home but they were 11.99 and when I show them to you guys you will understand why they were worth it hold on let me show them to you guys these are knee-high snakeskin boots um, 11.99 on clearance at Target and they are super comfortable you guys so comfortable and look at that heel you would not imagine that they would be comfortable with this heel oh my toes mm -mm. you would not imagine they would be comfortable with this heel but they really really are like so comfortable and the thing with buying knee-high boots i always worry that my leg would be too either too small or this part would be too big and it fits perfectly like it's literally the perfect size so i'm obsessed with them i literally i want to pair them with like black jeans uh, a black turtleneck top and then my brown coat and like my brown hat that is actually what i'm just gonna wear tomorrow period hopefully i can take cute pictures good morning loves um happy valentine's day so guys i've been having such a lazy weekend that last night i never even made it back on camera because well i was just tired and i kind of just was on the couch watching tv the whole evening but it's sunday morning happy valentine's day and i'm about to start washing my wigs you guys it's the thing i hope you do it too so basically um when i got my last set of braids i feel like i just um i didn't pack my wigs away properly i kind of just shoved them in the closet which is not good so i wanted to kind of wash them condition them today and then just um, repack them away properly so that when it comes time for me to wear them again, you know, everything is looking good. And obviously, it obviously helps for the wigs to last longer. Um, so yeah, I'm actually in the other bathroom because he was still sleeping and I'm happy to let him sleep. Um, so I don't want to make a noise in the other room. So I came to the other bathroom. Okay guys, so I like to use a toothbrush just to like clean off like an old toothbrush obviously. Just to make sure I get off any like um, glue or gel, anything that's on the lace. And then I go into actually cleaning the hair on the wig itself. Um, so toothbrush, I'm just using our normal shampoo, nothing. Uh, different here and I'm starting with the one that I'm currently wearing because I am going out later today so this one. Oh, yeah. I am going out later today so I need to wash this one first so it can dry and I can get it you know sorted so as you can see guys on the bottom this is the, obviously the powder that i use and then you can see the glue so that's usually what i try and get off first so. and if you don't want me there's something wrong with them right 
Okay guys, so this is where you wanna end up. Like all the glue is off. And then um, just adding a bit of conditioner um, or rather a bit of shampoo and then some conditioner and then you're done. Maybe I got problems that I don't tell anyone. Have I lost my perception? Feel like I wanna do something wrong now. Packing all your belongings. Say you wanna take some time. But if you say we'll meet again, why'd you have to take everything now? Baby, are you lying? I'm gonna leave to air dry because I'm not wearing them anytime soon. But yeah, um, you want me still sleeping, Shane? Because I, um, I'm just gonna have a bit of food. Um, probably put something on TV. Um, we have to start probably getting ready for brunch at the time now. We have to leave here at 12 30 because it takes an hour to get there. So I want to say 11. I'll probably start getting ready at 11 because I want to do my makeup today. Um, but yeah, I'm um, just going to have myself a bit of a fruit because. We're having brown side on and I like, ruin my appetite and I haven't been to Lido. It's been closed since the summer and we actually didn't even go there last year. So um, yeah, let me show you guys something. So I am trying to get rid of this chair and by get rid of I mean probably just give away because it was one of those really really cheap like $15, $10 chairs from Ikea that I bought. The year we moved here because I needed a chair to work from um, and then I had bought another one for Yom to use at his desk but then he ended up not liking it because uh, it hurt his back too much so he bought like a proper like office chair vibe and so now I took that one that he had and put it in my space where I usually work and so now we have this extra one we had we had put one in like in our bedroom but it just became one of those chairs where we put clothes on which is not good so i i want to probably like in our building there's a, a website where you can post your things in case anyone else in the building wants it so i'm probably going to do that um but yeah i took it out of our bedroom because i'm looking to do like a reading corner in our bedroom for when the summer comes you know get a bit of sunlight and just you know cozy up with a book especially because i think i told you guys i'm making my way through the heineman african writers list african writers series so i'm like there are like 200 and something books on the list and this is the one that i just um finished this week the season of migration to the north um so i'm steadily making my way through and of course some other books that i'm looking into reading i should probably charge my phone so reading um so i do want a nice like reading corner or like just hangout corner in our bedroom because we're always in the living room and if when we're not in the living room we're on the bed so i was looking at some chair options on wayfair and they're just so expensive so gotta save up for that that's a project summer is still a couple of months away so that's fine um yeah so i'm gonna have my little plum i haven't had a plum in years guys have my little plum and watch the new girl for a little bit and then i'll go shower and get ready
I am getting ready, trying to be quite fast so that we're not late. I'm really trying to catch the bus because I'm wearing my new boots. And I don't want to be walking with my new boots in the snow. But I was doing my skincare and I realized that I haven't put you guys on to what I've been doing recently to sort of like counter the effects of the cold on my skin. Um, so I've incorporated some new products that were gifted to me by Biosans. So Biosans gifted me some products and I've been using them um, over the past maybe month, month and a half to just you know update my skincare and just make it more winter friendly i'll show you guys um, so the first product that i'm incorporating is this the squalene and marine algae um eye cream if it will focus let's put it up here maybe it will focus okay there it's focusing so this is the squalene and marine algae eye cream um, from squalene and it looks like this and I usually just apply it a little bit you know under my eye and what I love about this eye cream you guys is that it's a very very rich formula and um, it, it's got squalene in it and then um, the marine algae which really helps with like the fine lines and the wrinkles which for me become really prominent in the winter because that's when my skin is at its driest like especially here under the eyes so I've been really appreciating what it does for me here and I feel like it creates just a really nice thick um, barrier um, against the cold when I go outside and then the other product that I'm using I'll show you that in a bit, but I quickly just want to go through the rest of my skincare, which hasn't changed. I'm delusional, delusional, you say. Why hasn't he called me back? It's been so the other product that Biosan sent to me was their squalene and lactic acid resurfacing um, night serum which looks like that um, it's basically like a very very thick creamy serum that is a very light exfoliant which is perfect for everyday use and so I only use this at night but I kind of just wanted to show you guys this because I'm talking about it now so I only use this at night and it's great for like everyday use and it basically just sort of um, works overnight to remove all like the dead skin cells um, on your skin that have accumulated so literally it's like polishing your skin while you sleep which I absolutely love and then of course it's got the um, the squalene um, which is like um, a compound or product whatever that literally just um, makes or hydrates your skin further and really just gives you that plump luscious looking skin that we're all looking for especially in the winter so this i only use at night um it's not advisable to use this in the day because obviously of the lactic acid and the exfoliating properties of that so don't use it in the day use it at night you guys i usually top everything off with the squalene and omega repair cream which is the moisturizer that i also got sent um, it's also another thick luxurious cream product that, um, well, it's a moisturizer, but it's a really thick moisturizer. And I think it's perfect for winter because it really goes in, it really hydrates. And again, it's got the omega, omega oils in there. And then, of course, the squalene. So it really just helps plump up your skin. Um, what I love about these products is one they're really thick and creamy and they feel very rich and luxurious like they feel very high-end which I like um, they're non sticky non sticky at all they don't feel oily so like I've been able to seamlessly incorporate them into my routine without like uh, feeling like they're not gelling well with my other products and um, they're fragrance free I love that about products because I feel like sometimes I become very sensitive to fragrance. Um, I'll definitely link all the product details down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. Um, so the links will be down below. But yeah, those have really been helping me. And I mean, you can tell even just now, 
in just from that application look how my skin looks it's glowing um it looks healthy radiant and this is the winter glow we all need it's the glow for me so yeah you guys let me finish getting ready doing my makeup and everything and i'll catch up with you guys um to show you my outfit of the day but don't forget to check out all the bias ones links in the in the description box if you guys are interested in um copying any of these okay, so i am dressed i'm wearing this camel colored coat from zara my jeans some black jeans from fashion nova <laughs> a turtleneck from my husband this aldo belt and then my boots from target you guys I'm about to pay for my life in them because I'm walking to the train station and it's so snowy and wet outside. So we'll see how that goes. But you know what? She looks cute. And that's all that matters. Okay? Um, okay. Yeah, because my mother never really kept so it's Three days stalking his Instagram, saying he's in a face. I got the gray short rib hash brown, poached egg, and hollandaise sauce. You got the what was it? What did you get? Omelette with pork, pork, like sausage. spicy pork yeah. sauce. Sausage. Right? sausage. And then we got a side of pancakes. So we just share. So now you're telling everyone that we're drifting apart. Now I know that it was you who made me feel so messed up. Hanging out. Can I just tell you, your outfit and everything is fabulous. I just need to say that. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. See if you can lift or let someone else have a similar balloon to them. Shall Let's we? go. Yeah. Okay. I question how fast I am with these boots, you see. <laughs> so. Hey guys, so we just left brunch and we're gonna make a quick stop before we head home. Um, okay, I was lo almost lost for a minute. We can still cross over. Yeah, you can cross this way. Okay. I usually come to this way. Oh, that way? Yeah. No, it's just next to this one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to go to this one. Two females, cute. But are they even real men? Jealousy. I think it's jealousy. But hell with it. Still look a melody. Or maybe I got problems that I don't tell anyone. Have I lost my perception? Feel like I want to do Hey, guys. So, we just got on the train. Almost home. Almost home. One more. One more train ride. Two more stops. Two more stops. Two more stops. One ride. Maybe a bus. Maybe an eight minute walk. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're almost home. Hey you guys, so we are finally back home. So exhausted, but it was a good day. I had a good brunch was really nice. I, I really love Lido. It's one of my favorite spots ever, ever, ever. And I like going to Harlem. I miss Harlem at times. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so anyway, about to rest. I'm going to end this vlog now too so I can edit and have this up for you guys tomorrow. Having some iced tea the best um yeah oh i bought some candles you guys you want to show them? Oh, yeah. no. more might as well show them yeah i think you because they're gonna get it for me 
<laughs> but I'm at a perfect angle. What if I move and Oh and I changed my wig to a side part for today. But I'll probably change it back to a middle part because guys during the week when I'm on the train like my hair sweats out the curl. I sweat out the curls so fast because it's so hot and then everything comes flat and when this is flat it's in my face and I don't like that but anyway let me show you the two candles that I bought I bought these two. This one is called Bachelor Pad. It's a very um, masculine um, fragrance, I feel like. And I wanted to get it because all the candles that I typically buy are very feminine, very floral. And yeah, I thought it would be good to have this. You know, just to switch things up a little bit. Um, so that's the first one and then this one is called fresh cut flowers very floral very fresh. I love it Yeah, it's very light too. I love that um, So yeah, I've been wanting some new candle Fragrances because I'm kind of bored with the ones we have right now So I got these and I got a jade roller to deep puff my skin um I've seen people use these a lot and I've been keen on trying one and so I got that. And I got lip balm. Guys, I'm obsessed with lip balms. It's like I always want to have one everywhere in my bag, on my desk, in my bedroom. So I bought this brand, Dr. Popo. I've heard people rave about it. Like it's a good brand and these were like on obviously discounted because you know TJ Maxx Marshalls so there are three of them in here this one is the original one this is the tinted peach pink balm and then I got the rich mocha balm and it basically says you can use it on your lips your cuticles on your cheeks on your eyebrows listen they are multi-purpose so got these and what else did I get? Oh, have you guys ever used one of these? I, I bought it to try it. I've been seeing it, but I wasn't sure. It's a pot lid, a lid organizer. Because you guys, I think I might have told you last week how I was really struggling with organizing the bottom underneath our sink where we keep our pots and stuff. So now I bought this thing to try and organize. So supposedly you put the the lids in here and then you just stack the pots so hopefully that will work because who that cupboard is a mess okay guys I'm going to log off now um, please make sure please make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys next week